out from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in bed Hey loves, my name is Brianna Kay. You may also know me as Bits of Brie. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. Today I'm sharing with you my health and wellness routine. I've never done a video quite like this on my channel before, but I know we've all been staying at home and it's just ever so important to stay healthy, mind, body, spirit, soul, all the things. So I hope that you can do this daily health and wellness routine with me so that we can stay home and stay healthy together. I get the wine and the corkscrew. You don't have to do one single thing. And I have a free health and wellness checklist printable. So if you're looking for a way to stay on top of this, just sign up with your email over on my blog. It's bitsofbreeblog.com and I can send you my list of what I do every day to stay healthy at home right now. When I first wake up in the morning, I try to chug water right away. It's so important for your body to be hydrated, especially after sleeping all night. And since I am in my third month of pregnancy now, it's so crazy how fast time is going. I need more water than even normal, so I chug some right away when I wake up. I also make the bed just so I feel more tidy and accomplished first thing in the morning. It's so good for your mental health. And I also take my prenatal vitamins right when I wake up so that I don't forget about them. We can spend all day in bed. Even though we're staying home and not going anywhere, I think it's still important to get ready each day. I use this time to put on a motivational podcast. So I start my morning by washing my face, brushing my teeth, putting on lotion and eye cream, and putting in my contacts, all the healthy, good hygiene stuff. And I've been making sure that I'm using as natural of products as possible, especially since I'm pregnant. That's really important to me right now more than ever with my health and wellness, with everything that's going on. This is also the time I pick out my outfit for the day and I still get dressed, still do my hair and makeup pretty much every day. It just feels comforting to have a routine and makes me feel confident and more normal in a time that feels so abnormal and that's really important to maintaining my mental health, having a routine and doing what I need to feel confident. part of my daily health and wellness routine is just making sure I'm using natural products, which is why I love using native deodorant. If you guys have not tried native deodorant yet, you have to. It seriously is the best smelling deodorant I've ever used. And especially during pregnancy, when your sense of smell is heightened, it passes the sniff test like hours and hours later. Cause like the worst thing you want is to smell BO like halfway through the day or at the end of the day and this stuff keeps me smelling amazing all day long. I love the cucumber and mint. That's my favorite scent out of the three that I got. There's also a coconut and vanilla that smells so good and a lavender and rose that I got. I recommend all three to you, but there's even more scents you can try on their site. But I love, it's not sticky at all. It dries super fast and it's aluminum free, paraben free, sulfate free, so again, the route you wanna go for being all natural when it comes to deodorant. And right now, Native is giving my subscribers a special treat. So normally, to try three deodorants, it's $36. But if you use my link in the description box and the code Brianna K, you'll get three deodorants for $24. That's 33% off, it's an amazing deal. So again, I'll have it linked down below so you can give Native deodorants a try too. So once I'm dressed and ready for the day, I'll head downstairs to make my coffee, take my supplements, and make my breakfast. I suffered from really horrible anxiety last year when my dad was on hospice. 
I would get such bad heart palpitations that I actually went to the doctor to get my heart checked because I thought I was having some kind of heart problem. But I cut out my caffeine and I actually am caffeine free right now and it has made such a dramatic difference in my health. I still enjoy my morning ritual cup of coffee, but I do make it with decaf and I add my collagen powder and my creamer and it's nice to sip with my breakfast, but I feel so much better. I'm naturally a very energetic person and I think once all the caffeine was out of my system, my energy levels balanced back out again. So I'm so happy I made the change. It makes me feel so much healthier. So these are the vitamins and supplements I take every single day. So I take my prenatal vitamins, then I do an elderberry, there's like three gummies a day for immunity support. Then I take a probiotic, prebiotic, and I also take a vitamin D supplement every day. For breakfast, I try to make something that has protein and fruit. So either a smoothie or lately peanut butter banana toast has been helping me a lot because I'll have a little bit of nausea if I'm not eating regularly throughout the day and this seems to stick to my tummy and make me feel a lot better first thing in the morning. I use wheat bread and I love using this Jif Omega-3 peanut butter because I do not eat fish but this way I know that my baby is getting omega-3s which are so important for brain development especially in the first trimester. So once my breakfast is made, I'll sit down and make my plan for the day. I have a free daily productivity printable on my blog as well. It just helps me to get organized for what I'm cooking that day, what's on the to-do list, things that I have to do for Landon and Presley's homeschool. And honestly, when I have a plan that is so much better for my mental health, I function so much better when I know what is coming up. So this really helps me to have a better day overall. Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my And as I work, I try to be cognizant of my posture. If I'm doing any work during nap time where I might be able to work for an hour or so, I try to also stand up every 15 to 20 minutes, stretch, get more water, just so that my body isn't sedentary for too long. Another part of daily health and wellness for me is to reflect on the things that are working really well, figure out how I can repeat on those, sort of leverage your strengths, and figure out the things that aren't working and figure out ways if I can cut those things out or do them differently, whatever you can do to sort of ease any of that mental tension you might have. If there is something that you're just not liking to do or if there's something that is just becoming increasingly difficult again. You want to try to make decisions to limit the amount of stress that you're under right now. I'll also go to my YouVersion Bible app every day to read my daily devotional and the daily Bible verse. When it comes to health and wellness, I see such a connection between my spirituality to my mental health. When my anxiety that I mentioned earlier was at its worst, I was the most disconnected to God. So I've realized that it's a big part of my mental health and overall wellness to stay strong in my relationship with Jesus. And it's also refreshing just to have some quiet time to think, reflect, 
there's so much going on in life and relationships right now and this always makes me think about how I can make the most of my time here on earth. So a couple of other things that I think are just so important right now is to cut out the negative, whether that means that there are people you need to unfollow or you need to set up blocks, anything that is bringing you down right now, you need to cut it out of your life. So don't look at someone's page if it is giving you anxiety or if it's making you feel upset because that impacts your immunity. So your immune system functions best when you are not stressed, when you're getting enough rest, when you're eating nourishing foods and looking at things on social media or watching the news too much, overconsumption of anything can put your body into a state of stress. So you want to limit and cut out, unfollow, turn off the TV, limit your screen time, whatever you need to do for yourself to be in a state of as less stress as possible and as little negativity as possible. Another thing that helps me stay really positive if I do see something upsetting on the news or on social media, I go to my motivational quotes board on Pinterest and I just read through the verses and quotes and affirmations on there and it always makes me feel better. Sometimes I think the algorithm is a God wink and I'll get the perfect verse or the message that will pop up that just makes me feel better that day or in that moment. And speaking of affirmations on Pinterest, if you're not saying affirmations to yourself every day in the mirror, you might want to give this a try. I like writing my affirmations on post-its, so every time I look in the mirror, I see them and can say them. It seriously gives your energy and spirit such a positive boost. And you know it might seem silly or look weird on camera right now, but it honestly helps my mental health so much. I wake up from the sunshine on my face So dehydrated, don't know what to say And for some crazy reason, we've had a ton of snow here in April in Ohio, but every day that the weather is nice enough, I try to get outside for some fresh air. Go for a walk, sit out in the backyard to have my coffee, listen to the creek in our backyard, look at the flowers that are starting to bloom just makes me so much happier and it's such a good refresh from being stuck at home with no change of scenery. And if you've watched my past videos, you know I ride the exercise bike in my basement playroom for 45 minutes to an hour a day. But definitely try to get in 30 minutes of exercise a day right now if you're not. It's so good for getting your blood pumping, whether it's cardio, dancing, walking, lifting weights, yoga, stretching. It's so good for your overall health and wellness. Also, just pay attention to the foods that you're eating. I know I've had to make a lot of shelf-stable recipes because of what's currently available, but if you can get fresh produce, try to eat as colorful and healthy of fruits and vegetables as you can. And when it comes to your health and wellness, it is so important to do something that you love every single day. It can be really, really challenging as a working parent who no longer has school or childcare to balance the expectations of still working an eight hour day and doing the homeschooling and managing the house. Because the house management right now is a lot more when your kids aren't in school, when they're here 24 seven, it's just like the weekend. Like the weekend is always when my house needs a total reset afterwards. Like I need my Monday to reset the house when the kids were going to school and when I had childcare. But since no one has those things right now, there is just a lot more housework to manage at this time. So the list could never end. You could probably work every hour of the day of, on something around your house right now, but try to carve out at least an hour of time for you to do something you love, some form of self-care, 
whether it's reading a book, whether it's a bubble bath, whether it's a craft, whatever you need to do just to get your mind off of everything and that you feel fulfilled, your gas tank is getting refilled, you've gotta do that for yourself during this time that's so important to your health and wellness right now. I'm also a very social person. Friendship really matters to me. So make sure you check in on your friends and family at this time. A text or a call every once in a while can make a huge difference to someone that's feeling lonely and having a hard mental health day. And it's also good for you to feel connected. That is so important to your heart and soul and mental health. That I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me and finally, tidy up and declutter. I've got a ton of videos to motivate you when it comes to cleaning and organizing and decluttering. So check those out, you can clean with me. But it seriously helps your mental health so much because you minimize the clutter, you see a nice clean space, you feel productive. I promise you it will change your entire day after your home is cleaned. But I hope you enjoyed my health and wellness routine video and that these tips helped you as you stay home and stay healthy with me virtually. Make sure you subscribe and have your notifications turned on. I'm sending you a huge virtual hug and so much love. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye loves. When I see you, my heart starts racing. But I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time.